In recent years, the cost of college tuition has skyrocketed, a fact which, when coupled with the steep decline in the U.S. economy, has left many in the recent generation of college graduates deeply in debt. Tuition costs have far outpaced income growth, causing an increase in students graduating with loan debt. From 1975 to 2005, tuition at the University of Minnesota went up by 1,176%. During the same time period, the annual median income has only grown by 331% and minimum wage by 145%. As student loan debt increases nationally, it becomes an increasing problem, not just for students, but for the national economy. I have some of the highest student loans that I think, uh, well, obviously people are all screwed, but I have some pretty bad debt. I don't really want to say how much I have because it's embarrassing and depressing when I say it. I have $40,000 in student debt. There's people who are 10 years older than me or 12 years older than me. I watch them go to college and I watch them get decent loans and get decent jobs, um, and that was just 10 years ago or something, but there's, there's been a stark difference between theirs and ours. I have a substantial student loan debt. It's, uh, paying off, but yeah, it, it, it's getting smaller, very slowly, it seems, but I've been paying that off now for about a year or so at least. And yeah, and I'm thinking about even going back to school and accruing more loan debt, so I can't wait. I can't wait. Yep, I do have student loan debt. Um, I took out a little bit of money for my undergraduate and pretty much funded my whole certificate through uh, FAFSA, federal loans. I feel very scared about being in debt. Um, right now the only debt I have is my car, which is going to be paid off in a few years at the rate I'm going. But um, I definitely feel worried about going into debt for school, which is going to be a lot more money than the debt I'm in now, um, because I don't have much of a career plan and because I'm not sure how I'm going to pay that money off. Students increasingly find themselves under pressure to attend college directly after high school. The statistical likelihood of higher lifetime earning potential leads many parents and counselors to advocate college as the best post high school option. However, with the global economy rapidly changing, many recent graduates are finding themselves in a worse financial position than their counterparts who skipped higher education. Originally when I went to Gustavus, it was just, it was expected. Like, oh, you're in high school, you're doing well, I went to a college preparatory high school, so it's like, oh, you go into that, so then you can go to a nice college, you get a nice education, and all of that fun, fun business. It's kind of like you're born, you're a toddler, you go to uh, kindergarten, you go through school, high school, and it was just kind of the next step, and it was pretty close to Minneapolis, so I went to Wisconsin for college, too. My parents definitely encouraged me and helped me took out the loans, thinking that that was in my best interest, that I would, you know, as a college graduate, make enough money to pay them back and be better off in life. My friends were planning to go to college, so it was almost just ex expected. Like, oh, you're going to high school, you're getting your grades, you're, you should go to college. Now it just seemed like that's that natural next step. I mean, I wanted to go, and that's why I went out of state because I wanted to see something else and um, yeah I definitely I was looking forward to it. While student loan burden has drastically increased, high earning positions for recent graduates have not. Unemployment and underemployment remains high for graduates possessing a bachelor's degree. 
For economic reasons, many young people have been forced to move back in with their parents. Many have also opted to take non-degree required positions in the service industry in an attempt to pay off their loans. Inability to find adequate employment and lack of direction often have a negative effect on young graduates' self-esteem and sense of fulfillment. You know, when I was a kid, I always looked at my parents and thought that they seemed really in charge of everything and knew how to do everything, and I thought that when I reached a certain age, I would be that way and I would just know sort of everything, <laughs> not everything, but um, I'd, I'd just be a lot more on top of things. And I guess th that does happen gradually and it has been happening gradually, but maybe isn't as simple as I thought it would be. I feel like, I feel like we're at a decision point, point now where a lot of us are either like, like getting married, getting married or, taking, or taking like, you know, you know the traditional steps, steps towards, towards a much more established adult, adult life versus the rest, versus of, us the rest of us who aren't. I like feel like it's a very like clear divide at this point. point. And it's kind of funny, it's, kind of funny. Like, it's like in 2012, um, I feel like a lot of my friends are getting married, engaged, or people are breaking up and starting their like single life, like second post-college life. I don't, I don't feel like I'm an adult. I feel, I still feel like, and I think it's, I think it's definitely, I mean, it's hard to feel like an adult when you still live at home where you were a kid and you still, you know, you, I think it's, it's really hard to feel like you're an adult until you're, I don't know when I'm going to feel like I'm an adult. Sometimes I feel not prepared at all, like I'm not an like I'm an adult, but I don't know necessarily feel like an adult, and I just kind of take every day as it comes. I feel so I like like I know so little about what I'm supposed to right now, and I don't know if that's just me or I I compare myself to other friends because I do have friend I have a friend who bought his own house and has his own car and. Um, didn't go to college, just went straight to working, and it's kind of hard to to look at his situation and look at my situation, the one that, you know, I did the right thing by, by going to college, because that's, you know, you need to go and continue and get your education, and it's like, right now? Uh, really? <laughs> I don't know. The new realities of life as a young adult are leading many to question or even regret their choice to attend college. Delaying college, technical programs, and online courses are all becoming popular alternatives to the traditional four-year education. As the current generation of teenagers prepares for adulthood, they'll have to seriously consider if a college education is still worth it. Maybe try to figure it out what you want to do, like, because people, people didn't tell me I had to figure it out right now. They're like, oh, you'll live, you'll go, you'll change your mind a whole bunch of times. And I kind of think that, you know, some of my friends didn't do that and they did figure out what they were going to do. And they've just been doing that. And now they're, I think, in a better situation than I am. So I don't know. I, I think not to say that. You can't change your mind because you definitely can and probably will, but if you have a clearer idea of this is what I should study in college and maybe this major could be beneficial for these jobs, just to keep that in mind. As far as to the kids who are just about to enter college, I would actually say don't do it, which is such a weird thing because I've always been such an advocate for higher education, but I would really say right now, there's something called the Twin Cities Experimental College, Exco, which is free, and you can learn anything you want. You can learn anything you want online. There are tutorials for everything. If you have a passion, like, figure out how to do it and, like, seek out mentors and apprentices and things like that. And, like, I would say don't, don't go into debt about it right now. Like, take, I had to take chances when you're younger. Don't. Don't wait to take chances, because for me, and this and this is different for, for everybody, 
but it gets hard, like, the older you get, the harder it is just to go for something, or just to convince yourself that, yeah, I might as well, I might as well do this. I struggle with that now. It's for some reason as I get older, I'm just putting obstacles in my way for no reason. Like, I'm convincing myself out of things. Where it's when you're younger, it's like, take those chances. Like, things won't always pan out, but it's easier, I feel, to bounce back or just to keep going when you're, when you're younger. Like, college, just take the chances. It's, take them because it, it does, for whatever reason, seem to get harder as you get older to just, to just go for things. I think I would tell the next generation to put a lot of thought into what's going to make you happy, what's going to give you happiness rather than pleasure, and try to devote your time to that. I guess I would say think a little bit about what you want to do and if college is right for you, because I feel as though um, so many people go to college just because, like, me, it was the next logical step, and I got, I feel I got lucky and found something I liked and was interested in and did pretty well at, pretty good at, but I feel a lot of people just kind of go without thinking about it, and then they have some bachelor's of arts degree and a whole lot of debt, and they're not sure why they got that. Um, and college used to be a sh sure sound investment, and whether or not people want to argue that and say, a degree is priceless or your education is so important. I don't feel is that I don't feel like that's really why people would go to college. It was more of a career step. So I don't know. I don't want to say wait and don't go right away, but just think about what you're doing before you sign the dotted line. <laughs>